everyone. If you're new here, my name's Bree, and I just surfed every day for the past 30 days. I surfed in all kinds of weather and all kinds of conditions, rainy, windy, stormy, choppy, you name it. I was out there every single day this month. The big finale, the last day. All right. I was inspired to do this 30 day surf challenge by my friend Nat who did a 100 day surf challenge before going on her surf trip to Indo. The main reason I wanted to do this surf challenge is because right when 2024 started, I got very sick. I was sick the entire month of January and could not surf. So I figured that doing this challenge would help me get back into surfing shape and get myself more comfortable in the water again. I definitely wouldn't say that I saw any major improvements in my surfing, but I can definitely tell you that I did get stronger and I did get back into surfing shape, which was my main goal in the first place. Really the best part for me was surfing with all of my favorite people, all my friends that came out with me and cheered me on and surfed with me. That is really what made the challenge fun. And I actually also had my friend Janae join me and do the surf challenge with me, which was really awesome. I have a huge list of things I want to improve on in my surfing from staggering my hands and looking where I'm going when I'm popping up to my stance to trying not to be so stiff. There are so many things that I could pick on about my surfing, but the most important thing is that I'm having fun, I'm enjoying it, and I love being with all of my friends out there. I also wanted to mention that I surfed a variety of boards during this challenge. I surfed a nine foot long board and I also surfed my typical 610 and 68 fun hybrid boards. And then I ended up buying a new board during this challenge, which is the purple one you see here. This is an Ashley Lloyd and it's a 7.0 and it's kind of a new shape for me. I really, really enjoy it and I'm kind of bonding with the board right now. I just want to say that I think having a variety of boards in your quiver and taking them out during different conditions that are appropriate for each board also helps to improve your surfing. I definitely want to encourage all of you to do a 30 day surf challenge if you have the opportunity because I think that it makes you a more well-rounded surfer overall. Just surfing in different conditions, surfing at different tides, your knowledge in the water definitely improves, your positioning improves, and your timing of the wave improves. I even noticed this in myself. You can see in some of these videos, I actually sat deeper than I normally do. And I think that's just because my comfortability in the water got better and my positioning got better from the consistency of surfing every single day. I want to end this video by saying thank you to everyone who supported me during this challenge and cheered me on and of course to all of my friends who came out and surfed with me. You guys really pushed me to keep going and encouraged me and I just appreciate it so much. I really couldn't have done it without you guys. The last thing I want to say is that I just hit 5,000 subscribers on this channel so Thank you to everybody who is subscribed. You guys give me the encouragement to continue creating content for you guys. So thank you so much again. Anyways, thanks for following along on my 30 day surf challenge. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you all next time. Woo!